Episode two of Fight for the Top is coming from Brands Hatch as it's the opening round of the 2018 Clio Cup. The video itself is going to be from the perspective of the driver, Max. So it's everything that goes on from his point of view. The weekend for Max actually started on Thursday where he's headed down. Friday when I'm going up, which is today, is about practice and setup. And then over the course of the weekend, there's quality and the races. Max and the team are getting ready to go out for practice one. Max has gone to get ready. The mechanics in here have started the cars. They're going to wait for all the fluids to get up to temperature, make sure there's nothing leaking, everything's tight, lights work and things like that. Once he does reappear, I want to get some shots for the actual main video of what's going on and then we're going to follow him over to the inner paddock and then go out and see how he gets on. has finished free practice one and ended up p6 which is actually pretty good he's gone in for a debrief with ash sutton and they're going to discuss areas that he could improve on in the meantime as well he's asked me just to put together a short video on here just so you can use it on social media and i'll put that playing somewhere around here <laughs> Fully famous. Can you take my voice off it? Hi. Can I sort my hair out? Oh, this is a struggle. I've just come over to the inner paddock with Max and the other Clio drivers are also over here. They're just behind me. We're going to go out on the grid for a photo shoot. Max is heading out for FPT. You can just hear the cars coming out at the moment. They've made some changes to the car, so hopefully he will be a bit quicker. I've headed over the other side of the circuit so I can get some more exciting shots. Well, hopefully exciting shots. Good morning everyone and welcome back to Brands Hatch for day two where we'll see Max go out for a qualifying session and race one. At the moment I'm just waiting for Max to get ready and we're going to head on over to Renault for driver sign on and the driver briefing the from the clerk of the course. To decide when they accelerate but there's no accelerating braking, accelerating braking. No this is ready for the first race of the weekend and he's starting on the front row of the grid which is well it's the best place you can possibly be very kindly we've got some tickets to go over to stopwatch hospitality who are in a suite overlooking the circuit right at the top perfect view of everything so i'm going to head on over there and watch the race unfold from there should be a good one What turned out to be rather a dramatic race with a red flag on lap two with one of the drivers rolling the car. It was restarted. Um, his main competitor there was Rivette who overtook him within a couple of laps unfortunately. And Max was battling really, really hard trying to get that position back. And unfortunately, I think it was around Paddock Hill, they must have uh, touched slightly and there's been some slight damage to the car which meant that Max has slipped back from 
being in second, back to fifth place. We'll have a chat with Max and see actually what went on. Good morning guys and welcome to the third and final day of the Clio Cup from Brands Hatch. I'm heading over to the circuit now, it's about 6.30 so I should arrive there at 7.30 and I want to have a chat with Max and find out what the plan of action is for this afternoon's race. Yesterday in summary, mixed bag really, qualifying, well that couldn't have gone any better and Max even said it was probably his best qualifying he's had. Our best qualifying session ever in the Cleo Cups. He got P1 for the first race and starts alongside his teammate today in P2. The race, bit of a mixed bag really. Even though he was leading the race, he picked up some mechanical damage to the front steering or something of the car, which caused him to slip back to fifth place. Um, I think he was quite lucky in some ways to finish fifth. He said as he was driving along, the steering wheel it was that angle and that was in a straight line. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh it's horrible. I've just parked up in a rather muddy car park. Not not the best at the moment, so I'm gonna pack all my stuff and wander down to Team Pyro's garage. Should be about a 15, 20 minute walk. One of the areas you don't generally think about is the hospitality and sponsorship. Without sponsorship, Max doesn't go racing. It's like £100,000 roughly for the year. At the moment, he's got some people over see, just behind me there, and he's basically talking about the car and what, what's involved during the weekend and over the season. That's got them sat we're just heading over to the inner paddock to watch Max's second race of the weekend. The weather is a bit mixed, it's raining on and off, and that's why I'm under this umbrella. So we're gonna head over, we've got Max's family and friends like that, so it should be rather an interesting race. What can you say about that race? That was, that was probably an emotional roller coaster. That one started off in P2 and pretty much straight away got into P1, and that's where he stayed. Max is obviously over the moon. Um, so fifth yesterday, first today. Overall, been a pretty good weekend for everyone involved. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Comments are always welcome, and remember to click on that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.